Hey, what's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Now, there's a lot of shit going on right now in these YouTube streets. There's a lot of Crip members and Blood members mad at us, a particular YouTuber, but they always get mad at a lot of YouTubers. Now, I did a video earlier than that, then I had to delete it because I was like, bless one, don't care no more if you step on nobody's toes, bruh. Do this video because you're doing it for a good cause. If you're one of these gang members who's going to get mad at this video I'm doing, then you don't love your kids. You don't love your son. Don't look at your kids and your sons and your daughters in the eye because you's an F-boy. You don't love them if you don't like what I'm preaching in this video right here. And you are the problem in our community, so it don't matter if you're trying to do something to me or not. This video is about all these so-called members I'm seeing that's getting mad at Charleston White and other bloggers. This ain't just about Charleston White. First of all, if you a Crip or Blood or GDs, BDs, folk, Nation, all, all these other gangs, if you know what I'm talking about don't fit and apply to you, then just like they tell us in kindergarten, if it don't apply, let that shit fly, bruh. Niggas is tired of you overwhelmingly emotional ass gangbangers, emotional ass gangbangers for F-boy shit. But you niggas don't never turn up for the youth. For instance, I always see you niggas, you weird ass niggas, you night. Whenever, whenever one of these bloggers say something, you niggas stand united like Captain Planet up in this hole. Earth, wind, fire, water, heart. You niggas join together out of the four corners of the world and just get together and unify like some hoes for some whole shit. You niggas unify and click up for a blogger that's talking about some real spill where you don't like what he's saying. Quit fucking watching the channel. You don't like what that man said? Why the fuck are you watching this channel? Is that man God? Is that man your OG? Did that man change your neighborhood? So now you gotta look at him like, yo, massa? Fuck you worrying about what somebody said on their YouTube channel. That nigga didn't bring no harm to you. That nigga didn't put your life in danger. So fuck are you making videos every day lest you knock the truth against one man and that man look like you, gang. That man is speaking the truth. All of them, not just Charleston White. Every single blogger who makes a video to benefit my kids and your kids, fuck you getting mad at that. Who cares if it's disrespectful when you niggas disrespect the neighborhoods every goddamn day? You niggas cause so many innocents to die. The nerve of you niggas get to tell other people what they should be speaking on. Oh, these niggas got them sticks. Boy, you an old man. These youngsters got them sticks. We know that already. You don't think the whole neighborhood knows you niggas will be willing to do anything to kill us versus the niggas who destroy the neighborhoods? For instance, you niggas unite for fuck shit like that. But I be watching, bruh. I be watching what goes on in the neighborhood. And not just police shootings, gang. Because there is a lot of police shooting, but it's not a pandemic compared to what we do to each other. Oh, bless one. Don't talk about black on black crime. So when the fuck are we going to talk about black on black crime? I don't even know who India um, Red Boy is. I did say I ain't going to feel sorry for him. Because you put yourself in a situation... When you walk in with certain people But at the same time I'll be fake To say when I seen that video The way they killed him I'll be fake if I didn't look at our people Like some fucking monsters bruh We some goddamn monsters I ain't gonna lie Black folks in America have been some goddamn monsters bruh I be watching this, bro. The way we savagely kill each other, we think it's cool, bro. We would never put a scratch on a chinny chin chin of any white educational person who do that to us. And that's facts. We would never do that. We don't have no principles in our communities. We don't have no moral ethics. So I don't listen to none of you gangbangers talking that rah, rah, rah. When I was growing up, a gangbanger was the boogeyman to me. Even though I wasn't afraid of him like that, but I knew what they was. There was the boogeyman to me growing up. And I had these boogeymans in my family, in my friend circles, all that. So I don't need you niggas to tell me what it is. I'm fucking tired of what it is. You niggas fucking unite like you Power Rangers up in this hole. But you niggas don't never unite when little seven-year-olds be getting blasted. You know, 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, innocent kids. You niggas don't squad up and go get the motherfuckers who did it. You niggas don't do none of that. Shout out to you niggas looking out for Nipsey Hussle Murrow. Y'all know how I feel about Nipsey, one love. But goddamn, if you niggas can do that for Nipsey, you know, because Nipsey, I ain't going to call him just a gang member. I'm going to call him a dude who's been through that and been through changing the name. But, but if y'all can do all that for Nipsey, why y'all can't like this? I'm saying, man, this got to be a real question asked to y'all. Y'all can do all that shit for Nipsey Hustle, right? Let me, let me, let me catch y'all on the tip. 
Why couldn't you do that for all the real ones in the neighborhood, the youth, the people who matter? We have a product to protect, and that's called our young generation. You niggas don't protect that shit. You niggas just cap and do all that. Again, if you niggas don't fall into what I'm saying, shut the fuck up and mind your own business. We don't care about emotional so-called gangbangers. You supposed to be a gangbanger, but you out here getting emotional over every little thing somebody said. Not just that. You niggas be sending some of the most coldest threat to our people. I be watching gangbangers. You niggas be sending some of the most coldest threat to a generation of us, bruh. And yeah, I see them folks who own the neighborhood that you got tatted on you. Let me say that again. I see you folks who, who don't even own the neighborhood that owns the neighborhood that you got tatted on you. And y'all don't do nothing to these folks. These folks, they be sarcastic to you niggas. They be saying everything they got to say to you niggas. You niggas don't even have an outrage. In fact, I'll tell you what you niggas do. You niggas laugh about it. You make jokes about it because it's cool. It's cool so as long as, you know what I mean, it ain't a nigga doing it to you. Am I right or wrong? It's real cool so as long as a nigga ain't the one, you know, top, chopping the block with you, spitting the game at you. You niggas don't really spit game, bro. A couple of y'all be spitting that good game that I be like, okay, look at this member over here. He's official for sure because he's caring about, you know what I'm saying, what the future is. That's what he's caring about. He caring about what the future is. Hold on, idiot almost hit me as I'm driving. I had to give them the middle finger right quick. <laughs> yeah, Florida got the worst drivers, but at the end of the day, I know there's a banger, a, a gang member watching this video right now. I didn't say nothing disrespectful to you niggas, but there's a nigga watching this video right now because we know a lot of the gang bangers only care about viral moments. A lot of you niggas only care about attention and so it tells me everything you niggas do for each other and you say you a family it ain't real it ain't real it's a charade niggas is acting with each other because it's in our community it's more cool to fucking look cool than actually do a change for the better of the good of the people bruh niggas is so selfish niggas only worry about each other and that's real truth niggas only worry about each other and what's going on. Niggas don't worry about change. You know, let, remember what Tupac said? We got to make a change. We got to, you know, niggas don't give a fuck about all that. They said we got to make a change. We got to make X, Y, and Z. Hold on. I'm, I, sometimes it's cool to teach certain folks respect. You know what I mean? Hang on. Hey, next time, look a man in the eye and say thank you. Son of a bitch. You see how I stand for something? I don't be afraid of people like that, Jack. I hate to tell you, bruh. Like, it was just my birthday yesterday. So I feel like the longer that I keep living in this world, the better I can do righteousness, bruh. It was my birthday yesterday, gang. I don't got time to listen to an overgrown man break down to the use of what life is. Nigga, we know you ain't life. You don't give a fuck about life. You niggas, in fact, are a danger to life. And not just that, you are a danger to the stability of motherfuckers like me and my kids out here, bruh. So no, I don't support you niggas. I'm not out here to bother you niggas, to, to mess with you niggas, to snitch on you niggas. I'm not out here to do any of that. But I am out here to say I don't stand with none of you niggas. I'm going to keep it real with you. We, we like sugarcoating the problem in our communities. It's the fuckboy shit we do to each other, bruh. Niggas will rob your whole home and do a home evasion. Did you do anything to him? Nah, he see what you like and what you got, and he want it. And, and the ones that get them turned on more to do fuck shit like that is when they see you black, because they know the other communities don't give a damn about you and me, so they can get away with doing anything to you and me. So instead of them noticing that the whole world don't care about you and me, they take advantage of that situation and exploit us, robbing us, killing us, doing anything they want to do to us, our, us, our beautiful daughters, our, our beautiful kings. They do anything they want to, they basically Piv, pil, 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 pil vision. I can't even pronounce that. Um, the communities, they ransacking the houses. They doing all they want to do. And y'all probably like, oh, this nigga blessed when exaggerating. Then you ain't from the block for real. We know I ain't exaggerating. In fact, I'm not saying enough of what we really do to each other. The wickedness after the club, during the club, doing little baby shower parties. Y'all really want me to get started? I'm not trying to go on a rant right now. But I know what we do to each other. And I don't see none of you niggas give a damn what we do to each other. Y'all placated to one way and make it look like... Like, because you niggas care about your gang rules, we all got to abide and follow that shit. But I ain't gang, 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 gang. So why the fuck I got to give a fuck about your hurt feelings because Charleston White or other bloggers hurt y'all feelings? You niggas don't never get united 
when they kill one of these foes. You know, you don't ever see Crips all around the world, bloods all around the world. And maybe I'm not talking to the little bit of you that do it. I'm talking about majority of y'all. You don't never see you niggas put the pressure on them folks who's hurting us every day. But that's my only. You know, that's the only thing that hurt my heart to a certain degree. I don't lie about it, bro. I tell the truth, bro. That shit damn near almost be putting a tear in your eyes. Like, look at this clown ass nigga, bro. This is a grown ass man on the camera talking like, oh, cuz, cuz, we got them sticks, them young folks out here, bro. We drilling, bro. Well, nigga, you look like a shame to the community, my nigga. I, I ain't never felt it until I got the age of 16 and 17 and I realized these niggas are overgrown clowns, bro. And I know in my heart, I'm not, bro, I'm going to say this, bro, because I know you niggas going to watch this video and want to kill me, and I didn't say nothing bad to you. So how can I look at my son in the eye every day, and I got a platform, but I didn't say something about it? He's going to look at my platform and think I'm one. That's my nightmare. It's not one of you niggas killing me, because anything, because I'm, I'm a black man. I can die off of anything in this world, health. Heart attacks, strokes, let me knock on wood so it don't happen. One of you lame niggas killing me for no fucking reason. I can die by anything. So the, the least I need to do is, before I die out here, my only nightmare is my kids thinking I'm one of you F-boys. That's my nightmare, and it's not one of you niggas catching me. We know black people what we do to each other. That's not my nightmare. My nightmare is my son watching one of you lame niggas get up on here and say daddy is the same way. I don't want to be looked at as one of you niggas. I don't want to be 30 something years old. Let me say the real ages. I don't want to be over 25 years old to 50 to 60 to 70 and talking all that weird clown shit. When you pass 24 years of age and you can't, I really personally think 17 years old, you should be a man. But let me be fair to some of you weak niggas who don't know how to mature yet. But when you pass 24 years old and you still on that lame nigga shit, Nigga, how much money you got? Nigga, that's what I want to know how much banking you did in 95, in 2005, in 2015. Nigga, we don't give a fuck about none of that. How much properties you got? What organizations you got to help my kids and they get? Nigga, I don't care about all that fuck shit you saying. Niggas, get up on the camera. The whole world supposed to click likes. You, you see the whole world change. When you niggas do these videos, niggas don't even embrace y'all no more. Niggas getting tired, bro. Niggas look at y'all like clowns. I'm gonna just be honest. Are people afraid of y'all? Yes, they are afraid of you. They're scared of you, but you take pride in that. Yeah, they they afraid of me. I'm gonna bully something. Go bully them police in your departments. Oops, they already bully, bullied you niggas so bad. The only niggas you see as the enemy is me and a motherfucking blogger. Get your bitch ass off of YouTube and go get the niggas who's really the problem of the community. You fucking watching what bloggers say. Nigga, I ain't never thought in my life I'll see bangers start being on the internet and then turn into internet stalkers. Internet stalkers worrying about what a nigga on the internet is staying. This what gang politics is now? Shout out to the real members out there who don't do the fuck shit what these other fuck niggas do. And, and if you one of the real bloods, the real cribs, the real the real GDs and BDs, vice lords, all these folks who really do do a change, because I know the real ones. I was in job corps with them, military with them. Y'all got some of the purest heart in the world. It's the majority of them who make y'all look bad, man. Y'all have a blessed day, bro. It's a damn shame. And they go watch this video. And he won't be like, I'm speaking that real shit for his kids. He'll watch this video and be like, how could we get him? Yeah, black people, we lost out here, bro. I love y'all, but we fucking lost. We got the game messed up, bro.